Hi guys, uh, this is Khan and uh, today we are going to make uh, lots of programming in C++. Uh, basically, uh, this is uh, lesson number 8 and we have covered control statements. In the previous lesson, le lesson number 5 we have completed selection decision making structure. Lesson number 6 we completed iteration or loops. In lesson number 7 we completed jump statements. And now it's time to utilize all these whatever learning we have done and make some programs. And today we will make uh, 10 of these programs and uh, these are included in the lab activities of this chapter. So uh, you can download this uh, book from uh, the link below in the description and all the previous videos links are also there in the description. So let's start. So first of all, uh, I have to be very quick uh, because uh, we have to make uh, 10 programs. So write a program, program number one is there, write a program that takes a number as input and print whether it is odd or even. So basically what we have to do, we have to check odd or even. So for this one, um, let's start and this is a boilerplate, hash include io stream. That is the library using name is std because we don't want to use std again and again here and integer main, integer num or variable obviously and num numerical or integer variable and the name is num we'll take an uh, input and num variable so now what we have to do we have to check it that uh, either it is um, odd or even so simple condition if num and reminder that is a modulus operator divided by 2 uh, we can check uh, like this but uh, for the beginners I will make it uh, clear and I will uh, write here if it is equal to 1 it means for example if I divide 5 uh, 2 so what will be the remainder here because we use here remainder sign so remainder will be 1 it means it is uh, an odd number okay so the same I will print here C out and uh, it is an odd number okay and the same else we have covered uh, condition statements in lesson number five so you can see if you are not clear about if or else so that is a simple program if it is uh, one then it will print odd and if it is uh, not then it will print even number now uh, let's run the program f11 and let's see the result I'm going to enter 5 so it is saying it is odd number okay so the right it is there and let me run it again f11 again and I will enter here 6 so it is an even number so the first program is done uh, even we can do one more thing that if you want then we can omit this part as well because this value will return 1 of course remainder will be 1 so 1 means true and this will be executed when it is true if you want then you can try this one as well so let's go to the next program write a program to add numbers from 1 to 20 okay we need a loop and what we need 1 to 20 numbers should be added okay so let me get rid of this one program number two uh, we don't need this uh, as well input output statement and uh, we need just loop num is equal to uh, 1 and num is less than is equal to 20 and num plus plus this is a loop for loop if you want to get the clarification of the for loop uh, in the previous video i think lesson number six you can find the answer to this one and we need to sum it so i need another variable with the name of sum and i will start with zero so sum is equal to sum plus num okay whatever the number and number would be every time it will become 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 to up to 20 okay and then in the end we'll print out the results here yeah, uh, sum or the total the sum is and uh, i'll print here as here okay let's run the program again f11 and it will print 210 i think you should ch check it it will be the right answer so uh, that's a simple one if you want to ask anything in it you can comment below okay go to the third one a writer program that takes a month number as input from 1 to 12 and print number of days in that month oh that is a little bit tricky because number of days we have to 
uh, right if wrong number is given the uh, then show error message okay so for this one we are going to use 1 to 12 exact values are there so we will use switch statement so let's start with the switch statement you don't need for loop and um, for this one uh, we need uh, take input okay so uh, take input okay i'm going to take uh, okay num or month m o n t h i will take input in month variable into uh, number from 1 to 12 okay 1 to 12 okay and then switch statement starts switch and then we'll use the variable month and then a loop or the block starts case one means if we enter one then what uh, uh, will be printed out see out and but we need to tell the number of months okay number of months uh, number of sorry number of days not the month okay uh, I am going to print to January and then has 31 days okay so it will be more clear and then semicolon and break I will copy these and uh, 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and one more okay so I'm going to change the number from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 okay now we have to change the name January and then February obviously February um, I think I should write short so that it less typing or less timing otherwise you will get bored okay January has uh, obviously 28 days for the timing okay then January February March MAR again 31 days March April APR has uh, 30 days uh, January February March April okay May that's a normal thing if you know or April May June okay July uh, let me complete uh, this one July August September September October and November and December last one is December I think it's, it's taking a lot of time uh, let me just correct the number of days so 30 31 January February March April May uh, June June 30 days and then 31 31 and then 30 days 31 and then 30 days that's it you can check with this one if you don't know the how to check just let me know and I will tell you in the next video and for the default because we don't want any other number so enter a valid number enter a valid number and valid number should be 1 to 12 okay uh, so we have done two things together we don't need the break here and that's all done oh hope it will run smoothly let's run at f11 let me enter number 5 5 means may may has uh, 31 days so it is right let's uh, run again to December for December we'll check uh, 12 and December has 31 days so it's working smoothly so it's done as well so let's check third one is done input a number number fourth a program number four is input a number up to six digit and show each digit in separate line so we have to use uh, here uh, let me get rid of this one and um, see out enter any number or number i think i should check um, the six digit number six digit number and obviously we need uh, old variable and yeah. so what i'm going to do here first of all i will take the six digit number and put it in temp because i am going to uh, do some operations on this one okay just to make it simple for you what I'm going to do here for example if I enter for example if I enter 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are six digits so what I want first I want this one first okay or I think I should check it should do it 6 5 
four, three, two, one. So it will be more easier for you. I want only six. Okay. So what I can do? So temp is equal to temp and uh, uh, we can write here uh, divided by one two three four five six so what it will do it will give us only six okay but this value will be changed so what uh, we can do here we will print it out in this one like this tab divided by this and then next line okay sorry next line okay so now we'll get here only six and then what we can do we can do one more thing that uh, in temp variable we need the remaining so for remaining we need the remainder operator and then same one two three four five six so what it will do it will omit this one six and only five four three two one it will be added in temp variable so we can do the same operation here and uh, print the value and like this uh, let me show only these two steps first okay and i'm going to print temp again so here it will only print six and here five four three two one it should be like this uh, let me just check your reminder yeah yes that's it see out see out and let's run the program f11 hope there's no error yes no error six five four three two one enter okay see so we have got six separated and the remainder we use or the modulus operator we use it has given us uh, after six whatever the digit we are one two three four five five digits so we can do the same operation with this value and first divide it print it and then remainder and we'll get all these three uh, variables easily okay so here it is this here it is now it is this and the similar we'll do the same thing here and um, see our time divided by and then we'll divide one two three four five so basically what it will do it will print only five okay and we can repeat this option here like here we'll get four three two one because we are doing this and then divided by this so we will print here four same applies here three because we did this and this and here it will print three and uh, then we have got um, two two and it will print two mm. Mm, sorry two one and two here and the last one we don't need the calculation if you want then uh, we can just print it out uh, like this divide by 10 so, okay remainder or remainder will be one so we can print here one it will be printed here one let me just comment out so that uh, it won't interrupt the execution of the program let's run the program okay and see the results um there are many other ways to do it but uh, i decided to show you in simpler way like this so that you can use two operators and you can print out so let's run it hope uh, everything is fine four three two one and uh, let me do it let me check here because it's not printing okay and 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 l i just didn't use and l here so after this one we need this mm and line i didn't add and line every time so that it is printed on the same line so yeah we don't need it in the last but so let's run again six five four three two one okay so we have got every digit in different lines so we can try with any other value any random value let's run it again and i am going to run uh, like this so we have got each value on the separate uh, each digit in separate line okay hope that's clear if anything is not then let me know in the comment so that's our program number four uh, program number five take input a character number of rows and number of columns draw a square box filled with that character with given number of rows and columns okay we have to take um, 
three inputs. Uh, let me just uh, get rid of these first. So what I'm going to do here, enter symbol, S Y M B U L, okay, like a sterical enter, and um, for this one I will use S Y M, S Y M variable. Mm, we need character for this one, character, and uh, enter rows. Mm, I'll explain after a while and columns uh, we have got now three inputs here and um, it is rows number of rows and number of columns c o l s okay number of columns so we have got three inputs according to this one take input a character first of all we have taken input a character uh, for example like if we enter a or b or static or whatever the sign we can enter number of rows and number of columns for example if i enter uh, five uh, number of rows and six number of columns so, and i enter a so it will be like rows five rows one two three four five sorry and uh, number of columns six one two three four five six so the output should be like this this will be a output if we enter 5 and 6 and character is a okay so that is example now what we need we need nested loop nested loop for this one integer x for example 1 from 1 to the rows number of uh, i think number of columns or rows so first we'll take x is less than y is equal to rows okay and x plus plus and then we'll take another integer here y y is again is equal to 1 and y is less than or is equal to uh, columns and y plus plus what i'm doing here as i have shown you a one two let me show you with the static one two three or i think a gap should be there okay four by five i think four by one two three four and five so what i'm going to do first i will start the loop and it will start from here and then it will execute number of columns time okay because in this loop it will one uh, when x is equal to one so the y is equal to one and one two three four five four four it will run four times so it will print here let me print here static yes and then that's it so it will print four statics here and then we'll be we'll be back to the uh, top loop okay this loop okay let me just clear it here so what i want i want just to print out uh, or simple print ml okay next line okay so it will go to next line and the same four statics and then next line and then four statics and then next line okay hope that it will be clear to you guys or it will execute as well clearly hope for the best let's run it and uh, hope there's no error so symbol i'm going to use aesthetic of course uh, i didn't print the study okay and then number of rows um, i think number of rows six and number of columns of four so the result is okay so we have uh, printed four, 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 and six rows are there. Okay, but one thing that I didn't print uh, the symbol, I just printed here this um, again okay, static. So we, what we can do, I just want the space between the symbol. So what I'm going to do is S Y M, S Y M, and then this. Yes, a little space before or after the symbol. So let's run again and uh, symbol i'm going to change here i will uh, start with a plus uh, three rows and ten columns something like this okay see so whatever the symbol we enter number of rows are there three and number of columns are ten so hope that is a nested loop means loop within a loop okay so that's done as well number five 
and uh, if you have got any query you can ask in the comments go to the next one write a program that generate the following outputs okay uh, to save the time i will make uh, one of these okay we start with this one because we have got already extracts there so i will uh, do this one or we can change the last one uh, to suit this one so what i'm going to do um, uh, we can start with a symbol uh, enter number of rows and the columns we don't need the columns here we'll start with the one two and uh, it will increase accordingly so from one to number of rows okay and then y is less than equal to x okay that's the symbol thing okay that's it what we have done here it will increase one by one for example x is one so y will execute only once time once and if x is two then y will execute two times and three times like this so it the shape will be like this so let's run it a static here and then i want uh, something like six rows so this is our shape as you can see that is the same shape uh, because uh, it is close and i just put a space here so that it will be easy to count that's why it's looking like that or you can if you want uh, the same you can just get rid of this one or this one as well so let's run it again and static and then six okay so that is the same shape here uh, but the beauty of this one that uh, we can increase the number of rows uh, and the shape change the shape like plus and then the number of rows you can use 15 okay so that is a shape this is called the half, half uh, pyramid or uh, the triangle shape as well okay and this is one of the best practice uh, uh, to check your nested loop concepts so just go give it a go and try to understand what these lines are doing and then if you have not clear with anything this let me know and then uh, we'll try to make uh, simple steps to understand these things but this is very important program okay so just clear it and then the next one it will be same as well so i just okay i think i should uh, do it as well um i will print uh, one x okay or y i think let's run y oh we don't need a symbol let it go it's number six okay one one two three one two three four five uh, so basically what we have done i have just uh, printed out here yeah, let me just comment it out i just printed this y okay so you can check by doing this example uh, these two examples that what is the value of this is the value of y and this is basically the value of x let me change again and then you will see that okay this is the value of x run it again and then you will see the answer a number of four, six and see one two three four five and six so that is the same as it this one okay so hope uh, these are clear just give it a go because these are these examples are very important these programs are very important to understand the nested loop loops and the va value of the variables so this will show you the value of y and this will show you the value of x okay hope that's clear and if you need anything else uh, in this one then let me know and i will uh, explain it to you okay come to the program number seven write a program that takes a number as input and print whether it is a prime or not very simple what can we do here we will take uh, number enter any number uh, obviously we don't need character we need only num enter uh, any number and in num we'll take okay so basically what is a prime number prime number is a number which is not divided by any other number except itself and one for example if we take one uh, out and the number for example if i enter 11 so 11 is not divided by 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so what i am going to do here the way i explain this is the answer as well the how to do it so basically what we can do we can start a loop from 2 to that number until that number okay starting from 2 and we try to divide it and if we get the remainder 
0 then it's not a prime number in simple terms if okay for example for loop i will start with the for loop i want a variable x is equal to 2 not 1 because 1 can divide okay 1 can divide every any number okay and uh, the remainder won't be uh, any number so remainder you will get 0 so x is less than or equal to Oh, sorry less than num because we don't want 11 as well so we will put here x is less than num and then semicolon let me just uh, yes and then num oh sorry x plus plus so what it will do what we are going to do here we'll check if num percent x or the modulus x means if num whatever the number for example if i enter 111 divided by 2 so what will be the answer the remainder would be 1 okay not divided by 2 remainder or the model so it means that it will show us 1 so what we can do we can write here if it is, is equal to uh, 0 means if it is 10 so what would be the remainder 0 if it is 0 then print out that uh, first of all num is not a prime number prime number okay mm, yes and then that's it so basically what we are going to do we'll check for this one and uh, let me start the block so that it won't interrupt here and uh, if it is not so the loop will execute and i want one more thing that i want to exit from here okay and the normal exit should be there and what i want if the number is not divided by two completely then we'll print num is a prime number okay here we print not so basically if the loop is completed without uh, completely dividing this number okay so the result will be printed and it will print that num is a prime number okay so let's run again and see that okay first of all uh, uh, this extra bracket okay if in if i didn't use here let me close it yes f11 again let's run if i enter 10 so it will show 10 is not a prime number okay it's not let's check again and this time 11 and 11 is a prime number so simple so hope it's clear let's uh, see the next program program number eight take salary as input and on its basis show different levels of designation in an organization like manager supervisor worker etc okay so basically we'll take only three manager uh, supervisor and worker okay so according to the salary uh, we'll put okay so what i'm going to do here i will take the salary enter salary salary uh focus on salary and let it be num okay now i'm going to check if num is um, num is greater than for example 50 50k okay so what i want i want it to print uh, c out and uh, it's a manager uh, it's a manager okay otherwise we can do nested if or we want we can do if else as well so both will work um i think we should do if uh, this else if else if num is greater than um, something like thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. then what i want i want it to print supervisor supervisor and if it is else let me just conclude with us if it is a uh, so it is simple worker okay 
so basically we first check 50,000 then 30,000 uh, and uh, then we just wrote here worker if you want then you can uh, expand it likewise okay so let's run again uh, okay and else okay we need to do it we can do it like this or um, we can do like this as well and this one block okay okay okay, okay. that's okay this is we didn't close it yes explain before return uh, else if basically we put extra brackets here okay i'm going to enter 51000 here so it's a manager let's run again this time i'm going to enter 32000 so it's a supervisor and third time i'm going to enter something like 15000 15k so it is a worker so you can see that's working so <coughs> let's uh, see the next one we have done with the number eight now complete the uh, write a program that prints a square of numbers from one to ten easy uh, one to ten we don't need input here so what we need we can use after while this one so um, four integer x uh, x is less than or is equal to ten or x plus plus we can do like this or there are other ways to do it as well so what i want i want a square so x multiply by x and then let me print it on next line and uh, it will be like this okay so hope that is done so let's run again so square of 0 is 0, 1 is 1, 2, 2 is a 4, 3, 3 is a 9, 4, 4 is a 16, 5, 5 is a 25, uh, and um, likewise 6, 6 is a 36, 7, 7 is a 49, so that's okay. 10, 10 is a 10, okay. Uh, we can start with the 1 here. We should start with 1 so that it will be, it won't be 0. <coughs> so 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, okay. So, that's uh, program number 9 and the last one take a number and print its table from 1 to 10 using while loop according to the following format okay uh, while loop we have to use so enter any number number 10 enter any number in number okay we need to use while loop so i'll start with mm, while uh, we need another variable it is something like count and count is uh, equals to one and uh, count is count is less than equal to 10 that's it and we need to start the um, yes block and then we'll print out the table first of all num then x or the multiply by and then count and then equal to sign that's uh, equal to sign let me get it out. and then uh, num multiply by count and then and out okay um, but one more thing is missing here count plus plus we need to increment the count so that will execute 10 times so that's done and the last one let's run it and uh, five and you can see the table of five is there hope that is clear if anything is in clear or you want any assistance in any program just let me know uh, thank you very much guys to stay with me for these 10 programs and uh, learn something if you learn something just uh, like and subscribe and let me know if you want any other tutorial i will be there with you thank you guys thank you very much see you in next video bye bye